Hey designers, this is Karthik here from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into the video. This video is a part of playlist called Elementor Basics in which we talk about every widget, every feature and all things Elementor. Today I'm going to talk about the divider widget and the spacer widget. Well, other than using them just for dividing or adding that emphasis on text, you can do a lot of cool things with these widgets. For instance, the patterns that you see here are created with the divider widget. So if I click on this, you can see that it's a divider widget, right? I just tweak the values to make it look in this pattern. And you can also watch this feature section as I scroll through. So it has a neat little underlining effect that can be achieved using the divider widget and also the element of promotion effects. So we'll discuss all this in this video. Stay tuned. Let's start with the divider widget. I'll just drag in my divider right there can adjust the weight of it and as you see here weight is kind of similar to height so you can drag it to a maximum value of 10 but don't worry simply enter any value you want and it will change the shape of the divider and as i told you weight is kind of like height you can change the width in pixels to the same value to get a perfect circle so creating a circle is that easy as you drag this width, you can see it creates an ellipse, but we'll settle for a circle. So it's a hundred pixels radius circle, right? You can also align it wherever you want. You can also simply adjust the color of your circle. You can pick any color you want. So simply by changing the weight and width, you created a circle, right? There's nothing complicated than more easier than this. And there's, here's a fun little fact. If you change this pattern from solid to double, it will create a different shape. If you change it to dotted, well, it creates this neat little pattern that I showed you earlier. So creating this pattern is that easy and you can rotate it. You can also change, tweak these values. So if I change this to 300 and if I change this to 400, you get a different pattern. And based on your requirement, we'll just add any value you want. but if it's symmetrical, it looks good. So 100 and a perfect 100 will create that particular pattern with dotted selected and with dashed it provides or it creates a semicircle. So making these patterns is just as easy as picking values from here. You can also adjust the gap that will actually put more space around this widget. That's what it does. You can also align it to any direction. Okay. So how do we achieve this underlining effect when I scroll through notice? that the divider appears slowly as I scroll through and at some particular point the underline is clearly visible when I scroll back it's gone so you can achieve this using element of promotion fx so let's add a divider first so I'll just go to my menu I'll add a divider here below this and yeah, that would do I'll duplicate it two more times but wait let's adjust the properties of this divider <clears throat> so under motion fx we'll go to scrolling fx the first one is when i scroll through i want the divider to fade in so initially it will be invisible but as i start scrolling through it will be visible i can change these values i've already explained this in the motion fx tutorial so as it reaches half of the viewport it will start revealing itself and at this particular point where the user is more likely to see that it will be clearly visible. You can change these values however you want. So that's great. And one more effect I want for this is to scale up. So I want the scaling effect to start at maybe around this. And maybe I want the level to be at 2. And it starts scaling at 17%. So when it starts entering and reaches 17% of the distance, this is the viewport area, the, the whole visible browser height. That's what viewport is. So it starts scaling up. And it finishes scaling up by the moment it reaches 50%. So you can see that. And that's all. So you can see that needle effect. So you can see that. Start scaling. So you can adjust these values. And you can duplicate them two more times. Just drag this one under this. And the second one under this. And that's it. Now when you scroll through, that divider is visible. And it produces that neat little underlining effect. So as I scroll through, it puts more emphasis on the content that I want to highlight. So that's a neat little way to use divider and element of promotion fx well how do we position these and also rotate 
the patterns that we produced using elementus divided widget well it's simple it's using css transforms i already taught this i'll leave a link to that in the description so first you create the shape that you want first i'll create this purple shape so i'll just pick the color i'll pick a different one maybe so i'll pick up and i'll set the width to 100 and sorry weight to 100 and width 200 in pixels so that produces a circle and when i change the style to dotted it gives me that needle pattern okay that's great now let's create another pattern now we we just want a simple circle so i'll settle with 50 pixels and another 50 pixels okay so how do we position this and also rotate this in the, the way we want well positioning it is simple using elementor pros custom positioning or if you want to position it using css i already taught this i'll also leave a link to that or you can check out the elementor basics playlist for positioning any element it can be a section column or a widget so i'll just leave this i'll click on this go to advanced and the custom positioning i'll change the position to absolute and there it is so we can simply click and drag it and position it wherever we want what if we want to rotate the pattern a little bit so it's simple just go to custom css type selector and type transform we keep doing this in each and every video so you just add a rotate transform and rotate it by the angle you want so that will be rotated just like that so you can position it wherever you want that's it and you can also do the same with this pattern and put it wherever i want i just like this here so it won't have any load on your server instead of using an image of the similar pattern you can simply use Elementor's divider widget and also use it CSS transforms to rotate patterns and place it wherever you want using the custom positioning provided in Elementor Pro version or you can also do it with CSS. Now the divider widget is great for creating circular shapes whereas the shaper or the spacer widget well it's good for producing rectangular shapes or rounded rectangles so you can simply go ahead there you could pick a color since this is a spacer widget it just adds a space but as you all know that each element can have background in HTML. So basically all your elements are treated as rectangular boxes. It's called CSS box model. So for your browser, everything is just like a box. So it has width and height by default. It can be any element, it can be section, widget, column, anything. It just is a box. So we'll just pick a background color for our box. So it just created a rectangle. You can also adjust the space. That will basically adjust the height of the rectangle. You can also make it a square by dragging the slider to your wish. Or you can set the width to 43. Since this is adjusting the height, if you set the width to 43, it will be a perfect square. So just go to custom positioning. Here you have width custom and just set that to 43. And it produces a perfect square. If you want a rounded square, go to border and add a border radius. If you add 40 pixels, it again turns into a circle but if you want a rounded square just add a little bit of border radius maybe around 10 pixels and you can see the shape over here so it produces that you can duplicate this as many times as you want and under by using custom positioning you can put it wherever you want yes it's a rounded rectangle and if you go to border and remove all the border radius values you can produce any rectangular shapes and if you further increase by 100 it produces more of a rounded rectangular button kind of shape so you can use this in any ways possible you can make patterns so you can reduce the width and height and maybe use them as a background patterns you can animate them using motion effects and you can do a lot more there are very creative uses for this so that's basically it and yeah of course if you remove the background it functions just to add space between two elements in your design but you can use them creatively in, in any way you want again spacer widget for rectangular shapes or square shapes and if you want a perfect circle you can use the divider widget like i showed earlier that's it for now i'll talk to you real soon peace and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you Catch you in the next video. Peace.